Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm just tweeting one moment. Okay. Hello. Uh, I've been playing the heck out of this game. It has really good reviews, yeah. Look, I'm always down to, to try a base building game. I just know I'm gonna be bad at it. They're fun. I'm just no good at them. That's all. <sighs> I got some good immigration updates today. I'm very happy. The only tip you need with this game is don't open too many groves at once. Okay. <laughs> So I've just got one last thing that I need to go do in a couple weeks, and then I should be good. Dabs. <sighs> oh my god. I got the stink eye from my kid's teacher today. <laughs> or one of them. I deserved it, though. I felt really bad. It was pretty cold today. Um... Clark typically just refuses to put on her jacket. Um, we got in the car. Uh, we didn't go to like the, the early morning thing today. And she did amazing. She walked right in. She was totally fine. So that was, that was great. I was so happy. Um, but uh, we got all the way to school, got out, started to walk up. And I realized, holy shit, I forgot her jacket. And they normally have extras there, so I was like, oh, fuck, I guess I'll ask. So, um, we went to drop off, and I was like, hey, um, we forgot. And Clark just butted in and was like, mommy forgot my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and the teacher was like, all right, we'll find something for you. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, fuck. God damn it. Here's, here's the thing. I know that they have extras of stuff. I know she'll be okay. That's number one. Number two, I apologize to Clark, who I think is the one who deserves my apology. I'm not about to look at this teacher and be like, I'm so sorry I didn't bring her jacket. Like, they're, they're, they're fine. <laughs> you know? I did feel bad that I forgot the jacket, but I apologize to Clark. That's what's important. And I know that she'll have something to wear, so... It's whatever, you know? But, yeah. <laughs> Definitely got a little, like... On a day like this, gestures at all of the fog. <laughs> gestures at the fog and the mistiness. Didn't bring a jacket, huh? Okay. Womp womp. <laughs> it's fine. All of her clothes are drying now they're all she's gonna have anything she needs and she had her clothes for her extracurriculars which is you know if i forgot that i would have been in the in the dog house dude just make her jacket so cool she never wants to take it off ah oh, that's actually a great idea i should just put a bunch of weird shit on the inside of her jacket <laughs> that would be awesome Yeah, put some patches on the inside of it. So far, Clark has, I think, six pins 
on her backpack and no one said anything so far. This is turning into like a weird, this is like a mold situation for me of like, how, how many can I add? How many can Clark and I add to this backpack before they're like, could you stop? <laughs> day. I don't think I have enough pins for that. Not like pins that Clark would want. Yeah, she has um she has three bug pins. She has my um my rainbow keyboard pin. Because on one of the days when she was really struggling at drop off, I was like, "Do you want one of my pins?" and she said, "Yes." So I put my little rainbow keyboard pin on her bag and she has to keep it. So she has that. Um, she has another, she has a little butterfly one that broke, so I'll need to fix that, but then we can add that on as well. Yeah, well, so far we've kind of strategically placed them so that they hide behind, like, there's, there's sort of a lip that, f that flaps over the top of the backpack. So currently they're hidden until you open up that flap. I'm like... Once they start creeping out from under the flap. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. And they've got safety backs and stuff on them, but like, you know, obviously the teachers don't know that, so I would... I would find it very understandable if they were like, hey, could you stop putting pins on the backpack? Because we really don't want any of the kids to, like, try to pull a pin off and hurt themselves. Um, so part of me is like, should I put, like, a layer of, like, explain that they've got safety backs on? Which basically means that, like, if you pull at the pin itself on the front, it shouldn't release. Um, if I put something along the inside that that makes it so you would have to like do something in order to get to the pin backs themselves as well. I feel like that would be fine. Oh my gosh, the place the place that I go to for breakfast when I do laundry, um I had a really long conversation. I'm becoming like a regular now. I walked in and um, the lady that owns it was like, oh, you want this breakfast and you want this coffee? Should I put the coffee in a to-go because you never finish it? And I was like, oh my God. And <laughs> it's like, yes, all of those things. Thank you. And then um, we had like a really long conversation about crocheting because I was, I'm was i wearing my crochet hat today. And she was like, I love your hat. And I said, thank you so much. I made it. Um, and she goes, oh my gosh, you made that. You know, my husband's from Turkey and his family, they all do such amazing crochet. I really want to learn, but you know, I could never figure out how to knit. I don't think I could ever learn how to crochet, but I'd love to learn how to do some of the things that like his family does. And I was like, oh my God, like I literally, if I look at even an easy pattern, I have no idea what the fuck it says. <laughs> and she was like, okay, that makes me feel a little better. It was, it was just like a cute conversation. I was like, oh my God, I'm becoming a regular at a place. That's really fun after like moving to a new country, you know? I love wait staff that reads me to filth. <laughs> She was like, you know, my daughter is 17 and her and all of her friends have gotten really into knitting. Like kids are getting really into it again. And I was like, oh yeah, I used to, um, a bunch of us in my English class, when I was in school, we used to like crochet and knit in class. And she was like, that's so funny. And then we, we were like, we should look up crochet classes. <laughs> So I was like, I keep thinking I would probably be able to figure things out a lot better if I just like took a class. And she was like, oh yeah, I want to take a class. And so we decided that separately we're going to look up crochet classes. <laughs> Oops, wrong 
one. Not that. No, ma'am. But yeah, fun. Um, just really quick before we uh, open up the game. Yeah, Muska, I was just about to mention. Um, so I was on Indie Land last night. Uh, not only to like support Indie Land, but also because uh, we got to announce during Indie Land that Jesse Gerard and I are all producing um, the game Gestalt, uh, which is super exciting. I've never produced a game before. Um, but obviously, like, Jesse's done a lot of producing. Gerard's been getting into it. Um, and, uh, yeah, Gerard had started, um, helping with production costs for Gestalt and then came to Jesse and was like, hey, I'm producing this game. Would you want to get involved? And he was like, I know that Dodger really wants to, like, look into this sort of stuff. We should get her involved. Um... And like, you know, looking at it, I was like, oh, it's a Metroidvania with really cool characters. I'm in, you know. Uh, yeah, it's been really fun. It's so cool being on, on like that side of the development process because what do you do as a producer? Yeah, so um, it, it depends. All producers do different things. It really depends on like what you can offer, right? So um, we, we produce and we help financially, but then we also, all three of us said that we really wanted to be involved in like um, playing new builds. And we do like a once a month um, meeting where we uh, basically, they tell us like, here's a new build. This is the stuff that we're working on. We'd love feedback. And then we all play it and we come with like lots of notes and we talk about like what worked for us, what didn't work for us. Um, it's really fun because it's a game type that I play a lot of, so um, I have a lot of opinions about like, you know, like map readability and stuff like that. Um, but all of us, all of us come with with really different things. You know, Jesse focuses a lot on like the lore and character development stuff, and um, and I think it's already just in the time that we've been involved, it's it's gone through so many changes, and every time changes happen we're like oh that works so much better you know it's it's really really cool it's so fun to be on this side so yeah we're really excited <gasps> Zelda thank you for linking it yeah yeah if um wishlisting games just FYI not saying that you have to wishlist this game but if if it interests you um wishlisting games on Steam helps with their visibility so much uh so anytime you're interested in a game, even if you're like, I don't need to wishlist that because I'll remember to get it when it comes out. Um, wishlisting it uh, helps Steam know like which games people are really interested in and which things people might be really interested in seeing. So yeah. I'm glad that everybody's really excited about it. I think it's gonna be very cool. Anywho, choo, get out of here, music. We have other things to do. I saw on TikTok, uh, oh no, I lost it. I saw on TikTok a forest full of shrooms and I thought that's you. <laughs> um, Brett and Massey found a baseball cap in their house that just had like a, like a big mushroom person like just sitting on it and he was like would you wear this <laughs> it's like i love that so many people are starting to associate me with mushrooms it makes me laugh um okay let's see against the storm yes a command would be neat i agree i can do that really quick one sec Just have to log into the um, into the bot. One second. <laughs> From foxes to mushrooms. I still love foxes. I still do love foxes. 
Um, okay, let's see. Sorry, I'm just making the command. One sec. now. Um, yes, Gerard actually has already been playing builds on the Steam Deck. Okay, settings. Why do we have to be against the storm? Maybe the storm tries to kill us or something. Can I be honest with you? I never know what I should be picking in like the Hertz category. <laughs> Is it not working? It should. Sixty is standard, okay. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay. Why does that look fuzzy? Trying to figure out if any of this stuff's gonna like suck for us. Yeah, what does this mean? You're at 59, that's why it's kind of fuzzy. But 60 isn't an option. <laughs> It looks better now, now that it's at 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'll turn that off. Um, okay. The world is plagued by the Blight Storm. A vile cycle of destruction ravaging everything in its path. The only safe haven is the smoldering city where the mysterious Scorched Queen reigns. You are one of her viceroys, a pioneer sent into the wilds, tasked with establishing new settlements and acquiring valuable resources for the crown. Your goal is to help rebuild the smoldering city and secure the future of the queen's subjects. Okay. There we go. It was a bit big. Use wads. I will. Neglecting your village will increase the queen's impatience and bring her wrath upon you? Bruh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Fulfilling your duties will increase the town's reputation, unlock new buildings, and eventually bring you victory. Choose a new blueprint. Click on the crown. Okay. Press space to resume. Okay. Build a woodcutter's camp. You have to keep the fire going at all times. Um. Wait. Where am I building the woodcutter's camp? to be out. Okay. So I'll do it. Here. I guess. Beavers. Humans. Adaptable species susceptible to the rain. Humans are adept at farming and enjoy brewing. Beavers are hardworking and honest, but demanding. They're gifted woodworkers and enjoy engineering. Lizards are resilient and distrustful. They're very good with animals and meat production. They prefer to work in warm environments. right now. Do I just watch them? Nothing can be sacrificed. Build not one, but many settlements. To successfully establish a town and therefore win a run, you need to collect enough reputation points to fill the reputation bar. It's important to do this before the queen's impatience reaches its maximum. Oh, interesting. So it's kind of like you're playing a board game by yourself. If the queen loses her patience, you lose, and you lose if your villagers either leave or die. Here's the fire and the sacrifice button, yeah. <laughs> Cutter's camp and wood. Right. Oh, 
workers. So let's add Pig Boy, yeah? They're the good woodworkers. Mark trees for harvesting. Select a building or deposit to destroy. Interesting. I need two of them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, what's the objective? Um, make the queen happy. The queen is, so far, she's fine. <laughs> she's fine, it's fine. Oh my God, I really hate that I can't right click drag to turn. Assign five beavers. Cut through the forest to discover two glades. Okay. These glades. I mean, I'm trying. I'm working on it. Oh, there we go. Middle mouse button. I can do it. Okay. Too many trees. Fork. There. A glade. Shelter can accommodate a villager but won't satisfy the need for species specific housing. It has to be built near a hearth. Okay. Let's build a shelter then. trees. what the humans are going to like doing. Although you're surrounded almost entirely by thick forests, there are smaller, bigger glades around your starting location. To establish a successful settlement, you'll have to cut your way through them. Glades can contain resources, treasures, fertile soil, ruined buildings, and more. Use the tree marking tool to point your woodworkers to specific areas. Best rewards come from dangerous or forbidden glades, but these always have at least one dangerous glade event, which will require you to deliver certain goods or complete a challenge. Okay. Okay, good to know. Let's do some of this, yeah? Hmm. 
<laughs> Cute. You can just make them just for fun. A couple little benches next to the hearth, you know. Cutting is easier. Woodcutter's camp production is 40% quicker. Wait, why do I have reinforced axes? What did I do? Time to spend some chill time with Dodger to offset the league tilt. Oh no! <laughs> Locked for now. Oh, interesting. So they get 10 and then they deliver. And then the other one. Ooh, they're getting resin. Wow, we're getting all kinds of shit. Good job, guys. Well done. Oof. There has to, that has to be something you can change. Invert mouse rotation, please. Ah, oh. ah, oh, so much better. Okay. Yeah, I've got some lizards, I've got some beavers, I've got some people. The humans are content. It don't say shit- oh, the beavers are content. The lizards are content. That's good. The lizards just hang out near the fire, because they're, you know, they're not going to do too good otherwise, so. Yo, we're finding lots of broccoli, though. We need- we need foraging, stat. Harvester's camp. Is that separate from this? Foragers camp? No! Okay. Here. Should I just put them next to each other? <laughs> Why not, I guess. My brain's trying so hard to figure out the inversion difference with the camera. <laughs> Newcomers! These people have been sent here by the crown. Which group do you want to stay? Currently? Ooh, but they have leather and stone. But I don't really have much for the lizards to do right now. <sighs> um, sure. Need more houses for people, yeah. Y'all. Five vegetables. Well, there's lots of broccoli, dude. So I feel like probably on the right track here. Ooh, 
lizards could be a future investment. They could. They just hang out next to the hearth, dude. Because they're cold. <laughs> My poor little lizzies. I need to. I need to give them something to do, dude. Ah, dude, no. going guys they're idling why there's guys <laughs> guys what within range of the building wait what it has to be in range of the building Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> you can't just walk over here and be like, oh shit, there's broccoli. <laughs> like, what? Can be moved. Oh, thank god. I've moved it. Jesus. I do love that. That's really nice, dude. they're grayed out. If they're grayed out, it means that no one can get to them, I think. I think that's what's happening there. So that's fine. We'll focus on the stuff that people can reach right now. They're getting vegetables. I'm very proud. Good job, guys. Okay, deliver. Beep. Stone cutter camp. Clay and steel shovels. Okay. That is nice that it shows where that stuff is. Um, sure. Put it there. Uh. The lizards are good at farming, right? They're good at woodworking, they like farming, and they like meat production. Yeah. Okay. Choose a cornerstone. Building materials are the foundation of every settlement. Production is 50% quicker in the building crude workstation. Or the Royal Academy wants a detailed map of the region and will supply anyone willing to help. Gain 20 reed and 20 clay for each discovered glade. Ooh. Hmm. I'll pick this. This seems like it's going to help me like early on, you know? Oh, here we go. Let's add a Hume and a, a human and a beaver together like a family.
harvester camp. I can finally get rid of some of these flowers. Okay. I'm sure those of you who have played a lot of this game are, are struggling when I don't pick something up right away or figure something out right away, but I'm, I'm slowly getting it. So I appreciate your patience. I know a lot of you guys have been like super into this game. <laughs> game seems hard to get hugely wrong. Being able to move buildings is nice. Being able to move buildings is such a game changer. I was really shocked that it let me do that. It was amazing. It's such a nice, like, quality of life thing. Now we get the crude workstation. Ho oh ho. Put all the lizards in here, <laughs> since they're the only ones I haven't used for anything else. All right, lizards, it's your time. They're like, no, I don't want a job. I get it, dude. Newcomers are waiting. Plant fiber and clay. Roots, clay, and vegetables. I'll take the humans, not because I particularly love humans, just <laughs> because the game's made me really concerned about our lizards. Forager's camp has no deposits. Oh, let's scooch you then. Come over here, my dude. I'll just harvest a deposit until it's gone, basically. And then we move it. Nice. Yes, it is a very soothing ambiance, I agree. Ooh, eggies. Blade over here. I'm very curious about that.
Hmm. Go down here though too. Um. Maybe I'll scooch it this way, just until we open this up. Look, Queenie's not that mad at us, dude. We're doing pretty all right. You know? You feel me? Not to like jinx us, but. But so far, she ain't too mad. really do just let you move everything except except the hearth okay i was like can i move everything okay i can't move the hearth or the warehouse that makes a lot of sense Avengers camp and a trapper's camp or is it like either or scavengers camp I don't think I have one of those I have a harvester camp and a forager camp scavenger camp not yet dude we need planks what's going on over here are we planking or what Every building has its own internal storage or produced gathered goods are temporarily stored. When the internal storage reaches its limit, the goods in it will be transported to the main warehouse. While transporting, it's important to keep in mind that villagers have a limited carry capacity. They might need to walk between their workplace and the warehouse. Every few minutes, workers will take breaks and return to a nearby hearth to eat and rest. During a break, they'll consume at least one item of food and try to fulfill all of their needs. If a villager has multiple needs tied to complex food, they will consume more than one meal. Goods kept in the building's internal storage are inaccessible to other villagers or production buildings and have to be transported to the main warehouse before they can be distributed or consumed. Okay, glade events. Glade events are objects found in the forest, like abandoned caches, survivor camps, ruins, wild beasts, etc. Some of them are positive, offering goods or new villagers in exchange for a small amount of resources, and others are dangerous, forcing you to act quickly to avoid negative consequence. Once you select a Glade event, the event panel will, s will show. You'll be able to find a few different sections, effects, worker slots, requirements, and rewards. The effect section shows you the possible negative consequences of the event and how much time you have left before they occur. To complete an event, you need to assign workers to it. Select one of two reward options and select investigate. Some events simply require you to deliver goods. Others have something called a working effect. Working effects are special conditions that activate once you give the order to investigate an event. Your goal is to survive these conditions for a set amount of time. After an event has been completed, your workers will deliver the rewards to your warehouse and no negative effects trigger. Okay for a sec. Okay, so there's an event here. Rebuild it. I will assign workers then. Um, over here. Oops.
Order is ready. Deliver. Cut through the forest to discover a dangerous or forbidden glade. Ooh, <laughs> must I? Oh. You can now choose from one of the available blueprints that the queen has offered you. A lizard house, a building specifically for lizards, a building specifically for humans, or a building specifically for beavers. I have the most humans, but I would argue the beavers have done the most work so far. <laughs> so I want to I want to give them a house, you know. I want to give them like like their zone, their chill zone. Oh, I need more planks though. I need planks, and then I can build that. Look at these ar little armadillo humans. So weird. Can I zoom in on a human? Why do they? It's just to protect from the rain, I guess. Resolve six, future resolve four, because it's raining hard. Oh, add a couple more decorations. Two more, two more little benches. Oh, a destroyed camp. Welcome new people. Sure. Fifteen eggs per minute, or fifteen fiber per minute. Let's do eggs. And more newcomers. Oh my goodness. Um. But I still don't have enough. Come on, guys, pick up the pace. <laughs> I need more planks, dude. Let's go. Oh, 
Um, one second. I need to just take a really quick break. Sorry. One sec. Is she peeing or pooping? Don't worry about it. I'm, I, I wasn't doing either, okay? Ugh. I wasn't doing either. That's what it said. That is what it said. That's what it always says. It's Schrodinger's break time, dude. <laughs> Hi, Summer! My cat left, so I have to I have to grab a blankie. Okay. The other day I mentioned how I loved your and Jesse's playthrough of Contradiction. Later realized it was Felicia and Jesse playing it. I did play Contradiction with Jesse though. Did he play it twice? He and I did play that together. <laughs> no! Hey, come back. What is happening? Oof. Okay. 
Okie doke. Let's get back. Okay. We've got humans doing this. We've got... Oh, wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so quick. Sorry. <laughs> One sec. I sent an email. Um, okay. I expected to not hear back for like a half an hour, but they wrote back immediately. Okay. Okay. We're, ba we're back in it. Sorry. <laughs> How are all my children doing? Okay. We need to move you... Um, probably over here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then, um... Is that what the photo sound was? Yeah, I was, I was asked for a confirmation for a thing. And, um, and I was like, oh, I can do that. Uh, but realized that I didn't, I didn't have the confirmation email. It was sent somewhere else. So I... <laughs> I was like, hey, can I get that when you get a chance? Thinking it would take a while. And then immediately got a response. I was like, oh, sick. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them finish what I've asked them to do. And then uh, this one now, we're going to move here. Get those out of the way. And then once this finishes up, we'll move it up here and try to clear this. It's gonna take a while though, I think. Can I finally build the beaver house? Yes, I can. Here we go. What? No building material. What do you mean? What were they used on? I'm actually furious. We're only making planks. <laughs> we're only making planks now. I'm actually mad. It's a very, honestly, like, what a what a chill atmosphere in this game. It's nice. cute that this is like a little nook in here. Follow my orders. I'm trying. I'm working. I'm working on it. Hey, come on. I'm working on it, dude. Look. I'm trying to get here, all right? Oh, the sun. Would you look at that? Um, maybe I'll make another foraging camp. Hey, 
Hey Jimmy, what's up, dude? When you've just done so much laundry and it's like hanging all over your house and occasionally you get like a whiff of fresh clothes smell. <laughs> like, oh yeah. I did a bunch of laundry earlier. Oh yeah! I've been obsessed with this game. It's actually really cute and super chill. I wasn't expecting it to be as chill as it is. Didn't know you were chill like that. still just in the tutorial game because I'm surrounded by water and I doubt that it's like that. I doubt that it's always like that, you know? workers. Uh, okay. Investigate. Go check it out, buds. The queen gets impatient. Newcomers are waiting. Oh my god. Sure. guys you can do this We did it. Good job, guys. Oh no, the storm is here. The storm's always here. At least a little, you know? At least a little bit of storm. Noise. 
continue. Yeah, that was the toot. We did the toot. any key to start. Villagers with low resolve will start leaving, increasing the queen's impatience. Keeping resolve exceptionally high will grant passive reputation. Okay. Satisfying your villagers' needs with complex food, homes, and services will increase their resolve. Each species has a different mix of needs. It's hard to please everyone all of the time. Farmers can plant only on farm fields, and those can only be built on fertile soil. Crops are planted in the first season and harvested during the second. Build a farm, harvest grain, and serve some ale in a tavern. Okay. Okay. Farm fields. Right. Didn't know you were chill like that. Doke. Artichoke. We got some little farm shit going on. Okay. 50% to the amount of goods produced on the small farm or five barrels per minute. love a shelter. <laughs> that sounds super good. <laughs> How much are the villagers drinking? Well, I think we ship some back to the queen. I think all of the settlements are technically like... <sighs> like some of what we do gets taxed to the queen and some of what we make gets taxed to the queen, you know? Yeah, shelters are like soups, rad. I agree. 
super duper good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Yo, my lizard rep, not great. <laughs> my lizard rep really needs to go up. Are we the queen? No, we're not. We are one of the queen's viceroy. Man, lots of these. What do we need for that? Trapper's camp. Lord knows I ain't got that, so. I don't think we ever become the queen, no. Um, sorry to say. I think we are always just like... Her hench, you know? I didn't know you were chill like that. <laughs> wop, 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 wop. Yes, build it, build it, yes. Wah, 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 Fume, deliver. Trapper camp, I would love to have that. That would be so great. Like, soup's good. Soup's dupes good, you know? Yeah, this is like the second um, tutorial mission, I guess. Oh yeah, much bigger map. <laughs> much bigger map than last time. <sighs> oh. oh my goodness. What a goofum ball. <laughs> Does it ever stop raining? No. It's always raining. Always. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I need to heat up my coffee, dude. Bird nest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eggies. 
No builders are available. Yeah, that's fair. Everybody's very busy. Meet in the trapper camp. Let's go. One more. Let's go. Deliver. Sign, seal, deliver. I'm yours. Smokehouse. Sure. Um. Just like for chomping, I guess. A chomp house, if you will. I'm giving them a lot that they have to cut down, which isn't super fair, but like... It's not super fair, but at the same time, it's like super fair, you know? Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to... Actually, I should not go that way yet. Just kidding. This way only. Oh. Two, four. Stonecutter camp needs to move. Where does she go? She goes here. Ooh. Girl, why? Why does it gotta be like this? So rainy. Ba 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 ba. Whoa. Oh, why is it so sparkly? Belinda. Belinda, she's working hard. have a couple workers available now. This needs to be moved. But where? There's nothing for it. Nothing to harvest currently, team. cover something but until then hop out enjoy the sunshine you know <laughs> look around it's a beautiful day <laughs> oh shit specialized grain farming techniques grain production increases by one every 25 times it's produced plus 50% to the amount of goods produced in the brewery 
don't have a brewery yet. Let's go for grain bags. That sounds toy. Nest, clay deposits. Okay, same as down here. Okay. Um, okay, I guess we should build a... I was gonna say a lake house. I guess we should build a lake house eventually. doing it. They're doing it, Peter. Mwah. Okay. We know Lizzie's love it out here. The Lizzie's love it. They want to be inside working with meats. <sighs> Enable meat in the jerky recipe. Is it not enabled? Oh, meat. Okay. Oh, neat. And now the lizards. They make jerky. I'm proud of them. Oh, we saved. Shit, guys, we gotta find some mushies. Make jerky out of the lizards? Nah, make it out of, out of these. These weird snail things that we're finding. And the eggs, I guess. Because we get meat from eggs. I'm not questioning it, okay? What were they making jerky out of? Um, it looked like snail or... Insects. I was like, what? Am I thinking that I saw? Not the right thing, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's. Gorufu, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the cat gang. Grub jerky. I'd eat grub jerky. I'm definitely of, of the mindset that we should be eating more insects in for real's life. But you know, I don't think that's gonna catch on very easy. <laughs> deposit and clay deposit toy is this for a harvesting no <laughs> it sure ain't dog okay fine i didn't want it to be anyway so that's good i'm glad actually <laughs> good um goodness gracious move it here i guess and then start just going to town, dude. Nice. Nice, very cool, nice, neat. 
order's ready. That's what I like to see. A brewery. A brewery. Oh. Oh, right. I haven't unlocked it yet. Beep. A brewery. Ooh, we can also make a crude workshop. Forgot about that. Okay. Oops. Food. Your villagers need to eat in order to survive. Every few minutes they'll go on a break, gather around the hearth, try to get something edible from the warehouse. If nothing they like is available, like pickled goods for the beavers, They'll eat raw food. If there's no food whatsoever, villagers will get one stack of hunger. Each stack works as a resolve penalty, and if the resolve of a species reaches zero, they will leave the settlement. Even if you grow vegetables on your farms, the amount of food you produce will soon become insufficient for a growing population. The solution is to process raw food and multiply it. Most recipes in the game yield more goods than raw ingredients used to produce them. Some perks can further increase that ratio, or even generate additional food as a byproduct. Nice! Very neat! Newcomers, go on. The humans are very happy, but we only have- we have less humans than anyone else. But hey, the resolve of everybody else is going up, so that's good. Lizard Resolve is on the rise, dude. They're doing all right. I don't know if that's because we're like developing more and so like there's more warm places. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, plus four. Comfortable and the pyre's there. And there's lots of jerky. Oh, the jerky's doing it, dude. Nice. A lot of jerky. Big fan. Okay, what about a crude workstation? We should probably have one of those. A small hearth and a trading post. Oh. But decor as well. Ooh, how lovely. Make little places to sit just for fun. Just for fun, just because they're cute, dude. Comfort will go up. The lizards will be jazzed. The lizards are like, oh my god, a nice place for my tush. Oh, and we've got a little road. It's cute in here, dude. It's getting cute in here. Yeah, lizard jazz on the rise. For sure. My homies sit.
Yeah! They in the blue. They in the blue. Brewery's doing good. Jerky house doing good. Farmers are doing good. Ooh. Enable barrels in the ale recipe. I probably should have looked at that. Barrels. Nice. Oh, oops. Oh my god, I forgot what we were doing. I forgot what this was. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. No, I, I want to farm here. Um, <laughs> that was pretty funny. Whoops. I, wanna, I need to clear this so I can use some of this land. Plus two to meat production. Gain additional meat every yield. Gain 30 meat every time a villager dies or leaves. No, thank you. A tavern. Okay, let's add a tavern, sure. Where, oh, right. I have to take it and then a tavern. Mushies! Herbalist. Boo! That's not what we need. Let the foragers get the mushrooms, dude! Just let the foragers have the mushrooms! <laughs> they, they leave in quotation marks. Yeah, exactly. They, uh, leave. Oops. Okay. Uh-oh, it's going down! No! But why? If they aren't with us, they're against us. Yikes.
Looks like I have to have three people in here. The Gleeman tells stories about past glories and times before the Great Civil War. Plus three to global resolve. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we are hoping to to uh, produce leisure, not brawling, but you know. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Everybody's having a great time here, okay? Everybody really likes it. They really like it here. They're having a good time. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna move this up here because we have quite a bit of overlap currently going on. It's not super necessary. Everyone's happy, the queen is fine. Yeah, everyone's happy, the queen is fine. Exactly. Yo, humans in the blue, reptiles in the blue. We just need the beavers in the blue. Which is a great name for a band. Ugh. Okay, we're doing pretty well here. Um, let's see. I don't think we have the people for it is the problem. Yeah, everyone's working, so I can't really add another thing without like taking away from the production value of other stuff, you know? Pickled goods. Love this game, how are you liking it? I'm actually liking it a lot. Deliver. Nice. Keep humans resolve above 25 for 30 seconds. Oh. Uh, that's pretty easy, yeah. I can do that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I did it. Yay, we made a settlement. Oh, nice. Shelter, makeshift post, blight post. Can produce a pack of crops, a pack of provisions. Specialized building dedicated to fighting blight rot. Oh no, do people get sick in this game? Of course they do. Um, pardon? Tutorial one town, tutorial two town. The world is a vast, ever-changing place, and at its heart lies the smoldering city. Your goal as a viceroy is to help rebuild it and secure the future of the queen's subjects. Use the resources you've gathered so far to construct the obsidian archive in the smoldering city. Uh, okay. Buy upgrades, I guess. Plus two to burning duration. Um, you gain a permanent.
movement minus 2% to the speed at which the queen's impatience grows. Gain plus 10% more citadel resources whenever you finish a settlement. This world is governed by the eternal blightstorm cycle. It is almost upon us. No caravans are allowed to embark. Click on the button in the lower right corner of the screen to finish the cycle. Okay. End the cycle. You're almost ready to venture out on your own. Choose any map tile inside your embarkment range to begin. Oh, interesting. Um. Go here. First choose a caravan that will become the foundation of your town's population. Oh. All beeves. Choose a difficulty. The higher the risk, the greater the reward. <laughs> I'll keep it on settler. Use all of your embark embarkation points to take extra goods with you. Okay. Uh. Remember, there is always a way out. Experiment and adapt. May the storm be gentle on you. Thanks. This, 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 embark. Oof. Okay. One sec, let me go poke Sam. One moment, please.
Hello. I heated up my coffee as well. This music's so cozy. Can't we shrimp just a little? Can't we shrimp just a little to the music? Okay, what are we doing? Forest mysteries. Plus three to mushroom production. Gain additional mushrooms every yield. Active only during drizzles. Plus five to spark dew production. No idea what that is. Rampaging storm stifles the spirit of all living creatures. What? Come on, man. Due to the region's location, the crown requires you to pay five amber with each storm. Oh, lord. Okay. Proximity of the outpost makes it easier to communicate with the crown. Order choices will increase by one. The royal woodlands are very lush and rich in timber. Trees give more wood. And villagers eat less food. All right. Let's get going, I guess. Choose from one of the available blueprints. Ooh, carpenter. That seems good for where we're at, right? <gasps> Lizard house. Brickyard. Um. Hmm. Oh, 
I can just start with these things? Oh, that's pretty sick. That's pretty tight, bro. Um, but first, we're gonna do this. Oops. Because we kind of need to. Get rid of those trees. Um, let's make a second one right off the bat. And get rid of these trees. Um, this requires a scavenger camp. So we can do that. Let's get started. Let's go, everybody. Chop, chop, etc. Yeah, it's got like an interesting roguelike element to it. A roguelite, I guess. I forgot we're all beavers. Oops, all beavers. I love that. Yes. I'm glad I didn't get the lizard house. I mean, we do have lizards. <laughs> we have one lizard and nine beavers. <laughs> Sacrificing, what is this? During especially hard times, you can sacrifice goods in the hearth to temporarily gain positive effects. Each fuel type grants different boons, like increasing your production speed, increasing hostility, etc. To do this, select the hearth, navigate to the sacrifice panel, and choose the resource you want to burn. The selected goods will be taken from your warehouse at a rate of one every few seconds. You can control how much will be consumed by using the arrow buttons. The more you sacrifice, the higher the resolve bonus becomes. Sacrificing consumes resources at a very high rate and might drain your storage very quickly. Gain reputation in different ways, successfully completing orders, exploring your surroundings, and keeping your villagers happy. What are those? Start each settlement with the hostility of the forest at zero. As your town grows, hostility will slowly increase when you perform certain actions like discovering glades, welcoming new villagers, or assigning woodcutters. Some actions can lower the hostility of the forest, like building additional hearths or letting the queen's impatience grow. With each hostility level, a negative resolve penalty is applied to all villagers and new forest mysteries can become active. Interesting. Oh, this is an interesting element. Forest mysteries are generated at the start of each game based on the map's difficulty and biome. Each effect is only active during its corresponding season. Positive effects occur during the drizzle while negative ones are active during the storm. Some effects are simple modifiers that influence production, reduce speed, or destroy buildings. Some are based on your villagers' needs. For example, hailstorm can kill villagers during the storm, but if they have a home, they will be safe. Oh. Cannibalism. All recipes that use metal or ore will be produced quicker. I'll go ahead and pick that. Not for any reason specifically, just, you know. <laughs> Dies or leaves, yeah. That's why um, last time we got this, everyone was putting the word leaves in quotation marks. Yeah, you know, when they leave. Um, I don't have a farmhouse, though. I can make farmland, but I can't make farmhouses, so. Rain collector. Uh, interesting. We need to build this. Oh, parts, quote unquote.
broccoli and eggs. Very nice. I think. Oh no, it's forager. Yeah. Shoot. I don't have what we need for that. That is harvester, though. No orders going. Um. Oh, uh, definitely that one. Deliver. <laughs> uh, planks. Sure, that should be pretty easy. And rain protection. I guess. Herb garden. Uses farm fields to produce roots and herbs. Oh, interesting. Um, let's take the trapper camp so that we can get these eggs. There's a bunch of eggies getting eaten right now. Hi, Sherlock. What's up, bud? Hi. Everything's fine, honey. <laughs> okay, come on. Come here. If you're gonna sit there and headbutt me, honey, I would rather you were just in my lap. Come on then. Thank you. Chaka chaka. Okay. Sherlock, just stay put, dude. You're killing me. Okay, bye. Ooh. So sometimes when Sam's have we have a <laughs> we have a couple of um, little timers uh, that are meant to stay in the kitchen, but we we actually wind up using them for lots of things around the house. So they they wind up all over the house. Um, and they are super obnoxious when they go off. And sometimes when Sam has trouble waking up, I'll set one of the kitchen timers and just gently set it on the bed next to him. <laughs> I just heard him like, he's, he's up and like moving around, but in about four minutes that alarm's gonna go off. And I don't know <laughs> if he hasn't found it, he's about to be so pissed. <laughs> ah, that's love. <laughs> I did that.
Do we not have any free workers? Is that the problem? Here. Um. Choose a blueprint. I shall. <gasps> a farm. Uh, vegetables and grain. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are all very similar. Use farm fields to produce berries and plant fiber. Vegetables and grain or roots and herbs. Maybe I'll do this. That's interesting. Paved road? Who's got the money for that? Not I. isn't super hostile with us yet, so that's good. You know. I wonder how you establish new glades. It said one of the ways that to like make the forest happy is to establish new glades. I do think that the, it's interesting that there's an element of like watch your step, idiot. <laughs> yeah, like you come into our forest, you develop our land. Boo, get out. station for nothing. More people. No, I don't want humans. Ugh. How's this have room for one more villager? Standardized set of rules. Every five villagers with the need for education fulfilled will increase global production speed by 25%. Oh. Interesting. I'm going to pick crowded houses because I think it'll help me the quickest, I guess. Yeah, 
that needs planks to be made. And so does this. That's the problem. We need to move the scavenger camp soon. Two more unlocking in one minute. Anyone looking forward to the new Pokemon game on Friday? Sam is. I'm not a big Pokemon person. I like watching the the stupid like Nuzlocke runs and things that they do, <laughs> but I don't. I I haven't enjoyed playing Pokemon really since um, I was pretty young. Um, so I I enjoy watching it more than playing it now. here so y'all can see my buffs because I was covering them. Hi Brett. Boreto. Um but yeah Sam was like ooh baby rubs hands together. New Pokemon game this week. Even though that man is fully still in God of War hell. Dad of lad hell, if you will. Yeah! Pick. Let's see. No. Yes. No. <laughs> This is a fuck humans run. Absolutely not. Carpenter, leather worker, or press. Uh, I guess this, because I think I get... I think one of my buildings is a carpenter building. Yeah. After we get, a, after we get these shits built. that every time a plank shows up here it gets taken and used for something else. I find that very funny. I find that very funny. Scavenger camp has no deposits. I can get eggies from a scavenger camp? It's very surprising. Um, I guess I'll just leave it for now. And we'll take these two off of here. And add them back on woodworking so we can get this done quicker. <gasps> Ho ho. Why is it why is it red when I hover over them to do it? Do they hate that? Are they gonna hate this job? <laughs> Queen is just as impatient as, uh, as, like, we're doing just as good as we are doing bad right now. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. And stuff.
Roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Just kidding, we do. I would like to have roads. I think they look nice. Hi, Watson. Hi, goofy girl. Wow. So close over here, dude. We're so close to something new. A human in there. They love that shit. Stonecutter. up here so both of the like buildings we're not using right now are just together I guess she's mad we're not doing great this time guys the plank bottleneck really fucked this up I think oh no everybody's going down and yelling timber they better move they better dance Idling? Why? Oh, we don't have any tools. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, hold on. No, I have no way to make them either. Oh, shit. Well, okay. Lol, that sucks. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess, uh... 
Let's see. Okay, we need to build this. ASAP. Doesn't look like there's a timer on that. So we're gonna build this and not worry about it too much. Newcomers are waiting. Fantastic. Ah, humans. Ah, but they bring tools. Love that. Gain one villager every time you discover a glade. The settlement specializes in wine. Gain plus one to beaver resolve for every 70 wine produced. Um. Oh, we don't have any brewing stuff ready. We'll do this. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get going. Rubs hands together. We can do this. Oh no, there's no one here. Two of these. Can I destroy this or no? I don't think I can. So they're like short runs, aren't they? Five out of ten planks. We're working on it. We're working on it. Oh no, the queen, she grows impatient. <laughs> Watson's looking at me like, mm hmm. Okay. I don't want to go back to school actually, but that's fine. Okay, can I? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we're cooking with fire. Now we're cooking. What, really? Oh no, did I use all my toolsies on something? At least this doesn't have like a time limit on it. That's good. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. Go, my children. Go. Yes. <gasps> I can destroy buildings. Oh, amazing. Oh! The car, children. Bye, Watson. I love you. Speed up is nice. The speed up is nice. Come on, guys. What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? Ooh. The liver. Nice. No. <laughs> sure, I guess since... If I'm already going to be trying to do that, I can get two of them done in one go. Every two newly completed dangerous and forbidden glade events lowers hostility by 50. Ooh! Crowded houses again? Super duper crowded houses? Houses can hold four now? Question mark? Uh, okay. I think we should do this. We have lots of dangerous ones coming around the corner. Choose a blueprint. Oh, right. I haven't found any of these things, though. Like any of the things that an herbalist would need. But the game, the game is acting like this area should have lots of mushrooms in it. So I guess, I guess I'll take that. Rain mill, ooh. Lumber mill, brewery. We have a lot of beavers and they want pickled stuff. So we should probably take the brewery, but we'll need to start, hmm. Well, let's see. This can't be moved? Oh no. Okay, well 
Well, that's sort of a whoopsie, isn't it? Um, there's no need for an herbalist camp yet. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's see what happens. Another blueprint, huh? Bakery. Sure. Sure, lock. Stop, Goofy. Sherlock, I love you. No, oh, thank you. Love you. Lizards are upset. They don't like it here. They need it to be more comfy, which I get. Have at least 16 beavers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Harmony Spirit Altar. Haunted beaver house. Oh my god. Horrific phantoms appear before the villagers. Minus three to global resolve every 60 seconds. Come on, it's a beaver house. The beavers have to investigate, you know. been disturbed. Plus one impatience point. When your villagers' needs are met, harmony is fostered. Each unique service building adds two to global resolve. Should I do all of these at the same time? Sure, I'm going to. This is probably a terrible idea. <laughs> Forage 
villagers camp. I shouldn't be excited about this right now, but I am. Wait. Wait, I thought I had something I needed foragers for. Do I not? Oh lord. What have I done? Ugh. Okay. Nobody die, please. How are we all doing? Nobody die, please. How are we all doing? Ooh. Good job, good job guys. Decoration. Passive effect. When your villagers' needs are met, harmony is fostered. Each unique service building adds two to global resolve. Right. Okay, cool. Oh, herbalis is what I need for that. Oh my god. Wait, what's wrong here? Idling, but why? What's the bottleneck? Is there a product we don't have enough of? the trapper's camp over here for the eggies and assign uh actually assign lizards to it it's too far from the hearth so we can move it here it's at the hearth now nice is purified. It's fine. Eggs and roots. We do have roots over here. Okay. I wish I could move that. That would be pretty tight, but that's okay.
barrels. The provisioner should be making barrels. Oh, but we don't have crystallized dew or copper bars. Mm, okay. Hmm. High hostility. Uh-oh. darkness or the hostility but we don't really know what to do about that Why is it red? Why can't I make another heart? I guess because the time, the time changed quickly enough. Well, that's good. That's that's good. I'm glad. Guess I'll move this over here too. Sure. Relatives of your village send gifts for treating their family members well. Get 40 water skins for every full reputation point. Rigorous training has made your scouts exceptionally efficient. For every five villagers with the need for brawling fulfilled, the chance of bringing back twice as many goods from events increases. Brawling? I need a tavern for that, I think. I do not have a tavern in this town. Ooh. Make some barrels, my dude. We're low on food. We are? Oh, goodness. Or 
We're grabbing hella eggs and shit. Berries and plant fiber. Should have taken cannibalism. <laughs> I just need to complete two, it looks like, I think, just two more objectives and I'll have been successful. <sighs> yeah, all of these things. We need pottery. What do I need for these? Oh, right, an herbalist camp. Why are they all different? Smokehouse. We don't have that yet. Smokehouse for the meat. And a cookhouse. Let's go. We can do this. Okay. All lizards in the smokehouse. They love the meat. Why? What's gone wrong already? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. There's no clay? We have no clay? What the hell is this? <laughs> no clay, guys? Oh my god. Y'all are killing me. Y'all are actually gonna get us killed.
We're getting some meat delivered, finally. insects here so that's good at least camp. Thank you. Oh my god. Wait, that's what we need for this too. Wait, how long have I had an herbalist camp available? I'm gonna scream. Don't worry. I'm just over here screaming. The lizards didn't leave. The lizards didn't leave. feed more people, dude. What do you mean? Where? Oh, this. Oh my god. We're doing it. We're doing it, gamers. We're doing it, gamers. 
Mwah, I love you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ugh. Love you. Kisses. Okay. Not you, chat. <laughs> Um, okay, then I'm gonna actually move this here, and then move this here. Okay. Why? Why is it going down? Why is it going down, dude? <sighs> Which one? Yeah, I know. That's fine. Or whatever. <laughs> Vegetable production. Every open cache lowers hostility. Sounds good to me. More bitches, more money. The fuck is this? structure. A totem of denial cleansed by the holy flame grants a global resolve bonus. Um, yeah, that sounds great. Locks the ability to sacrifice goods in the hearth. Oh, that's fine. Let's send some Lizzie's out there. Investigate. And then what about this? Clan Hall. 
places where villagers can fulfill their need for brawling and religion. Passive effects of the ancient ways. Sure. <laughs> Let's send some shit to the Citadel, cause they're getting pissed. Yo. Okay. Go, my children! Go! Make the queen not so mad about stuff. Yeah, there's already one up there. I don't think there really is much of anything. Right now. Scouts are idle because we don't have enough toolsies. That is how it appears. Come on, kids, you're doing great. Lizards like religion. Lizards, big into religion, dude. Make the queen tolerate us. Please. <laughs> I win? No, not quite. Okay. Fine. Here we go. Investigate. What's this? Can produce scrolls, ale, and simple tool tools. The building destroyed by the storm. Oops. And then gang. Yay, I win. I say well on the easiest difficulty. Yay, I'm doing so good. <laughs> look, sometimes it's good to look at yourself and say, how am I going to enjoy this game best? On the easiest difficulty? Probably. I'm going to do that then. Hmm. 
one. Okay. <sighs> yeah, look, I... Base building sort of games, I don't excel at, you know? It's a lot nicer for me. It's a lot more enjoyable for me if if I just if I just go easy with it. I also think this game, at least from what I can tell so far, it feels like this game really lends itself. It it has sort of a peaceful vibe to it overall. Um so like I don't think it takes away from it at all to be like, I want to play this and pretend it's more chill than <laughs> than maybe a lot of people play it, you know? Playing on easy and underrated experience, for sure. Um, another underrated experience is uh, uh, playing a game until it stops being fun and then just looking up how it ends. <laughs> but then you don't experience it. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to beat it anyway, was I? I was done having fun. <laughs> <coughs> Interesting. Fertile grounds. It was saying when we hit level five, whatever that means, when we hit level five, there's like new races that show up. And we saw blue people. We saw blue people in the tutorial pictures. Who are the blue people? Let's go. The amount of games I stopped playing at the final stretch. You know? Villagers eat less food, and the woodlands are lush. Great. Big fan. Sherlock, no! Um, Sherlock, no! I love you so much. You're the cutest boy in the whole wide world. Stop licking my hand. You're killing me. Hi, I love you very much. You're very cute. Um. Okay. No. No! No, Sherlock. I love you so much! <laughs> He's looking at me like, this word, what does it mean? Wait, is this gonna be plank? No. All right, let's get going team. Clap, clap.
We be building. We be building. Okay. Let's put a lizard in there. Let's put a bunch of fucking beavers in here. Let's put a lizard in there. Tag yourself, are you a lizard or a beaver? <laughs> thinks of himself as a lizard but is a beaver ho ho here we go orders uh yeah that's pretty easy uh yep Three packs of provisions for every new villager. Ooh, settlement specializes in training gear production. Gain plus one to lizard result for every 70 training gear produced. Where do we produce training gear? Like, okay, but <laughs> where do we make training gear though? no one to build we need builders let's focus let's focus our efforts team Where does the challenge come from in this game? Um, I'm playing on like the easiest setting, if you want to call it easy, but um, so uh, it's, it's roguelike in that um, this marks the queen's impatience. We as the player are a viceroy of the queen. We're trying to make a settlement that benefits her reign. Um, she will uh, slowly gain impatience as you play. So the longer it takes for you to set up your settlement and like, um, hit your, like, get your victory points in order to win that run. Um, sh if she gets impatient first, then you fail. Uh, also, the forest that you are building in will slowly turn against you. Um, the, the creatures and mysterious things that are inside of this forest will, uh, not take kindly to you destroying the forest. So, the further out that you go, these are all like dangerous or potentially dangerous events. Um, and as you go into them, you have to solve them depending on what they are. Uh, and the the forest will uh, gain hostility over time. You can do things to push back the hostility, but the more hostile it is, the more difficult it becomes. Uh, 
So that's that. Um, need for this a forager's camp. Okay. build the stone cutter camp but like <laughs> oh I need 20 wood okay I'm waiting on on the wood build up there I see got done so now as wood comes in we can put it toward that I always do this. I always like wind up cutting the trees this way and not so much this way and then it's very the the settlement is very lopsided. Okay, guys. We're okay. Oop. build a stone cutter camp. Plus one to wood production, lose all stored fuel upon picking it up. Oh, uh, I mean, we don't have much to begin with right now, do we? Lose all stored fuel, though. That's a lot. I can't do that, dude. Uh, I don't have the strength. Specialized. 
Organization bonus. Sure, I guess. <laughs> Choose a blueprint. A farm would be good. Lizards are doing good! Lizards are comfy this round, dude. I want these lizards. Uh, I want these lizards, I want these insects is what I meant to say. Of course, right after being like, I don't want the trapper. God, we are finding no clay though, dude. We haven't run into any clay at all. It's pretty wild.
my god. Sure. 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 Dude, not shocked. this lore tablet harmony those sealed beneath the muddy ground their voices ring loud and clear maddening and alluring uh, hmm. okay i'll move that into my camp i'm sure it's fine Contained stone tooth termite burrow. It now serves as a source of edible insects. <gasps> Wait, so if I take this, could we harvest insects from it? Because if so, definitely that's what I want. Global production is 50% faster, but trading is unavailable. I mean, I don't trade anyway. <laughs> Wood production is increased by one, but harvesting and planting are slower. Nah. Nah, dude.
Come on, guys. I believe in you. You can do this. They're so close. Come on, kids. Yay! Well done. Uh-oh. What's going on with you, though? Energized. Oh. Okay. <gasps> I get five insects every minute? Holy shit. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's real great. Another haunted farm. Love it. Oh, disturbing the ruins of the great civilization has grave consequences. Kills five random villagers. That's what happened last time. So we can just leave it alone though, yeah? We can just leave it alone. are idle at the haunted small farm. I mean, I guess that's fair. What do they need? Oh, more spark do, I see. Well, we're working on it, guys, so. Beaver resolve is low. What's happened? <gasps> because we're haunted? No. Wait, but guys. <laughs> Oof. Um, okay. We don't want to be haunted. This isn't like part of the plan or anything. Oh my god. Okay. From here. Okay. Are all of my beavers about to leave? I'm gonna lose my mind. to help them. They have no beaver housing. They like biscuits and pickled goods. <sighs> and leisure and education. Aw, kids. Ugh, son of a bitch. Okay, well, they can get started on that. But all the beavers are pretty pissed. I think they're about to leave, like right now. Yep. 
beavers are leaving. Beavers do be leaving. Dun, 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 dun. Everybody's upset about the hauntings. Okay, so now I know. Only open one of these bad, bad bitches at a time, dude. Because this went bad really fast. Oh my god, everybody's leaving. Oh my god, all of the people working on the haunted house left. Everyone's leaving! <laughs> Just put one little lizard on it. It'll be fine. No, everyone's leaving! Everybody's leaving! No! Guys, it's at 88%, dude! Just finish it! <laughs> Come on. Uh huh? Come on, humans. Show us some of that some of that human resolve. Right? Come on. Yeah, they did it! Oh my god, look how much better! Oh Jesus. Gracious. God, look at that. The second that it was fixed, everybody was fine. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god, but we can finally, holy shit. Finally. <gasps> no! Oh my god. Did someone touch it? Oh my god, it just happens? Wait, it just happens? Oh, fuck my life. Okay. I obviously misunderstood how this worked. Okay, that's super great. I'm really jazzed about that. Um, okay. What do we need over here? What's happening here? Why does it need it? Why is there a head? Oh my god, I have like one person in each place. <sighs> Investigate it, dude. We have no incense! <sighs> Never mind, I guess everybody's just gonna die! Okay, how do I make incense? <laughs> I don't think I currently have anything that makes incense. Yes, MangaPod is basically right now. Thank you for reminding me. Ah! Ah! Okay, it's fine. 
It's fine. Everyone died. <laughs> Everyone died and it was fine. Everyone died and it was fine. Oh my god. Yo, that's a good game though. Okay. Let me make sure. It was not fine. It was fine. Just setting up. Yes, we're swapping to Manga Pod. We're talking about Mob Psycho. Which I love. And if, holy shit, if you're not watching, dudes, <laughs> the new Mob Psycho season is so good. That show is fantastic. I've been so happy with it. I always forget how much I love, like, um, the art style they went with in that anime. Oh, it's great. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're doing Mob Psycho chapters 33 to 64. Let me grab these. Beep and beep and beep. Mobu. Two and three. Oof. Okay. You can see behind the curtain. Wow, what goes here? It's this. And wow, what goes here? Um these. These go here. Oh god. Grab both of these and put them under us. There we go. Yes. Great. Hey, look at that. Okay, sick. We're all we're all set up. Uh oh, wait. <laughs> I guess I should like change the title and stuff or whatever. Manga Pod Mob Psycho 100 Chapters. Oh my god, I literally just said chapters 33 to 64. Yeah, 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 yeah. 33 to 64. We've got Hellions tonight. I always forget how stacked Mondays are. Talk shows and podcasts. We'll add the tags anime and manga. Great. Great. We did it. Um, for, <laughs> for anybody who hasn't been here for a manga pod before, um, I encourage you to stick around. It's pretty fun. It's it's me and Aaron and Moeka, um, and occasionally a guest. Uh, and the first part is spoiler free. We just talk about whether or not we think the manga that we read is worth reading. It's like a book club. Um, and then we go into spoiler section. We talk more in depth about like what, what it is, like, like what we actually read and what happened in, in the reading. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice. It's an hour long. It's super chill. We try to read a big variety of stuff. Um, but this is our, I think, third time coming back to Mob Psycho. Mob's great. If you, if, in case you couldn't tell, I love the anime. I also love the manga. Um, the anime is so fantastically done, <laughs> like animation-wise, it's so good. Ba -ba 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 I somehow got that vibe. Yeah. You guys would be so proud. Dude, Sam and I have kept up. Uh, we're, we've kept up with um, pretty, nearly everything that we start. I still haven't. I still haven't hopped on the Gundam anime, um, which seems ridiculous because it seems totally up my alley. But um, 
we're all caught up on My Hero, on Chainsaw Man, on Mob Psycho, on Spy Family, um, on Blue Lock. Bro. Dabs? Is there enough difference watching... Oh, between the two mediums to warrant going through both. I'm watching the anime myself. So, um... I think if you're watching the anime, if I'm if I'm going to be totally honest and like manga purists are going to hate me for this, but I, I think if you're watching the anime, it's going to be really difficult to go read the manga. Um, one's art style is is very it, it takes a lot of getting used to. Uh, and I think a lot of times like people who watched One Punch Man and then read the remade One Punch Man manga, and then were like, oh my god, it's based on a webcomic? I'm gonna see what that's like. They had such a hard, tro hard trouble, <laughs> such a hard time uh, going to like the original webcomic. And I think sometimes people have trouble um, reading the Mob Psycho comic after watching the anime. Um, because the anime is very, very clean and like it, it, uh, but I, I think that it, it does justice to like how goofy the original art is, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's like an homage to it almost, um, while incorporating such like amazing visuals sometimes. But, uh, I think if you're watching the anime, you don't necessarily need to read the manga. I do think that they have a different vibe occasionally. Yeah, look, yo, if you ever want to be like, <laughs> um, not to knock on one, but like one's art is not amazing. And look at all the shit that they've accomplished, right? Like <laughs> one made one punch man, made Mob Psycho, and their art is like, it's, it's not amazing, you know? And I think, um, I think it's, I think it's actually really, really awesome it's it's such a success story in like um when people say bro don't wait until you're perfect at it just do it like just make the thing that you want to make i think one is such a perfect example of that i think it's awesome he does He's, he has fantastic, like, storytelling skills and I think um, does really funny, like, uh, like his humor, the bits that he does play really well. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, people will, again, will, like, watch the Mob Psycho anime or watch the One Punch anime and then go look at the original art and be like, this is janky as fuck. But, like, he made that, you know? He made that, and now it's, and now, you know, the One Punch manga has been redone with, like, really incredible visuals. The anime was fantastic. The Mob Psycho anime is so, so good. Um, you know, he went for it. It's great. Okay, everybody's in the, in the live channel, so we're going to go to this screen. I'm going to take the stream down for a second and then put it back up. Um, and then we'll get started. Okay, see you in just a sec. <laughs> 